Hey everyone, welcome to this video. I'm Inks Laura123, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you what I'm selling on eBay this week. Now, if you want to bid on any of the items that you see in this video, please do. Happy bidding. I'll put the link down below in the description box and also in the uh, pinned comment section as well to uh, the link to my eBay page. So go on there, go to items for sale, and bid, 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 bid. Happy bidding. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah got a, a normal kind of selection of random stuff that I sell on eBay, clothes, books, etc, etc. So if you see anything you like or any things that you like, please bid. If you enjoy watching the video, of course, uh, which I hope you do, please give it a big thumbs up, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. OK, so let's get started. This is what I'm selling on eBay this week. So first of all, um, I've already sold one of these. I had three originally, so I sold one, but I've still got two on there for sale these are so cute they're magical mermaid makeup brush a gift set and you get the little shimmer towel pot as well these are so cool like look at the different brushes and stuff really really pretty and the little pot is pretty as well uh, it's from girl zone so uh yeah still got two of these up for grabs also have this uh, duvet cover set. This is brand new with the tags, packaging, etc. And it is the United Kingdom flag kind of theme. So this is for a single bed. And as I say, it is brand spanking new in uh, all the packaging. Okay, next up is this lovely night dress from yours. This is a size 24 26 and it's this lovely light blue colors and it's got like stars on and stuff and hearts and moons and stuff so yeah this is on there by the way i say this every week when i do these types of videos but please go actually on my ebay page go on each listing if you're interested obviously uh, with the clothes like you can get a better look at the clothes in these kind of videos they're literally just like a sneak peek i just kind of lay the clothes down in front of me uh, just to give you a kind of sneak peek look at them but if you want like a clearer photograph and information about sizes etc um go and look on the listings but Anyway, so next up, we have this top here, which is from Two, which is from Sainsbury's. It's a size 24, and it's got all pretty little flowers all over it. Short sleeve top, perfect for those hot, sunny days. And oh my days, it's been so hot this week, like literally, whew, so hot. Okay, next up, we have this really cute little brush and comb set. This is from Disney Baby. And um, yeah, it's super sweet. It's got Winnie the Pooh on it. Any Winnie the Pooh fans out there? This is so sweet. I have uh, already sold one of these. I've still got two left. These are the uh, shopping tote bags. Brand new from the National Portrait Gallery. As you can see, they are brand new in the packaging and stuff. And the theme of both bags is the Queen. By the way, I mean the Queen of England, not like you know, Freddie Mercury. <laughs> okay, I've got some books here that I'm selling. The first one is Perfect on Paper. This by Sophie Gonzalez. I read this recently. It was pretty cute. Um, then I have this one here, which is a hardback. It's called The Appeal by Janice Hallett. This is a uh, thriller. Then I've got another thriller. This is a signed exclusive version of uh, The Maidens, and it is by Alex Michaelides. I think I say, say his name, Alex Michaelides, Lides, yeah. Uh, so basically, yeah, this author wrote The Silent Patient, which I loved, and uh, this one is really, really good as well. And as I say, it's a signed edition. This one here is called Little Eyes by Samantha Schweblin. I'll be honest with you, I did not like this book. I thought I would try something kind of out of my comfort zone. Um, it's supposed to be like a bit of a weird horror with creepy like teddy bears with cameras in their eyes. I was like, oh, that sounds really cool. Uh, but yeah, it just wasn't for me. I just kind of couldn't get into it. So like literally I've read a tiny bit. So <laughs> it's pretty much in like new condition. Um, this one here is called Last Chance Angel and it's by Alex Gutteridge. This is a ex-library book. Um, so I just thought I'd you know put that on. There are some other books which I'll show you in a bit. Okay, next up is this dress from New Look Curves range, which is, of course, their plus size range. And uh, it's like a real kind of sweet colouring, like that lilac, like lilac lavender kind of theme. And it's got these really cute little 
buttons there as you can see like a tie up on the side as well this is a size like 20 i would say 18 20 someone has obviously cut the label off so i've had to kind of guess but i would say it's like a 18 20 that kind of sizing this is um a, well i'd say a dress because i'm really short but if you're like you know taller than me this would be a top on you <laughs> it depends on your height um but yeah this is a size 18 really pretty i love um like the coloring on this like the black with the purple and blue and stuff like that okay next up is this dress and this is a size 14 and it's got these gorgeous like bright colored stars i love things with like star designs i, I don't know why i've always liked like stars rainbows that kind of thing um so there's like a little cutaway triangle bit here um which is quite random but i kind of like it uh, and it is brand new with the tags on it is from a company called nobody's child so i don't know if you've heard of them i don't know if they're like in a bigger store or if there is like an actual shop or whatever online or whatever called uh, nobody's child but anyway <laughs> that's that this is a size 20 dress from Marks and Spencers. Now it's red and white, kind of floral print. But the thing I love best about this dress is, if I just move that up, the sequins at the bottom, they're so cool. And they make a really nice sound. I don't know, I'm getting like ASMR vibes from this dress. Listen. Anyway, um, talking about ASMR, if you do like ASMR videos, check out my other YouTube channel, which is called Minx Laura 123 ASMR. I'll put the link down below in the description box to my other channel. Uh, if you want videos to help you sleep, relax, chill, get tingle, tingle, tingles, uh, check out my other channel if you'd like to. Okay, so anyone is into arts and crafts, this has been on a couple of weeks now. It hasn't sold. And I'm really sad because I thought this would sell really easily because everyone seems to be into their arts and crafts these days. Um, this is a knitting doll. It's super cute. I wish I could do it, but like, I'm, as much as I like arts and crafts, if I'm honest, I'm just useless at it, to be fair. So I thought it'd go to someone who would actually use it and enjoy it and be good at it. But it's brand new in the box and uh, it's from a, a danish shop so i've got to try and say this properly strick <laughs> stricky dookie strick a ducky no it's got to be dookie in it dookie anyway if anyone's in denmark denmark which i know i do have viewers there let me know how to say that properly because it's irritating i'm sure it's strick a strick a dookie <laughs> strick a dookie anyway it's a knitting doll and look at the little face it's so cute i love her little glasses her nose looks a little bit like something else, but we won't go there. And she's got a really smiley face. Come on, give her a home and do some knitting with this knitting doll. Okay, next up, this top has been on there. You will see in these videos, by the way, um, things that have been relisted. So you might have seen them in previous videos. Um, you know, if they don't sell the first time, I do kind of relist them and relist them, relist them until they eventually sell. Obviously, after a while, if they don't sell, then... You know, I give them a charity sh uh, charity shops and stuff, but like I do like to give them a fair go. You know, um, so yeah, this is a little uh, kids Star Wars t shirt. It's for uh, age seven to eight years, and it's really cool. I like the design on this, like the kind of galaxy style look. Okay, next up, Tigger. It's Tigger. Uh, this is from Disney Baby, and it's for a nine to twelve month old baby, and it's like a little Tigger kind of baby grow fancy dress costume didn't sell last week so maybe tigger will find a home this week next up is this little cute bag this is so cute i do not know how this is selling it's really weird um because i thought this would be so popular because this kind of bag is like trending right now literally when i was in primark the other day i saw bags like this so and this one is brand new look it's got the tags on it's brand new it's got like lovely red color to it and it's got this big flower and if i open up inside i can show you inside is just really nice like floral print there red pink etc so i don't know how this is not selling um this was a funny story actually well not that funny but i had a, <laughs> a message from someone um yesterday morning and they were like i really want to buy the bag and they've done a, a buy it now thing so basically i have everything listed as um auctions like bids and stuff but like if someone makes a best offer kind of thing they can buy it as the best offer if we agree on on a price kind of thing so yeah if anyone's watching if you see anything on my ebay that you like the look of but you don't want to kind of hang around waiting for bids and stuff to end then if you make a decent offer and we can agree on it then it's all good i'm willing to kind of sell it as a as a kind of buy it now as a best sale option if that makes 
any sense. Am I making sense? I hope so. But anyway, this person was like, yeah, I want to buy it. And then like a few hours later, they were like, actually, no, I don't. <laughs> so I don't know what happened there. But anyway, it's still up for sale. I hope someone gets it because it's so cute. It's no good for me because like my bag is filled with loads of stuff. But um, it's really cute. This is a size 18 dress, black and white. It's very funky design, isn't it? I really like this uh, for myself. I tried it on and it did fit me, but I didn't know if the, the design was a bit too kind of leery for me, like a bit wild. I suppose maybe as I'm getting old, I'm a bit like, mm. if I was like, I don't know, 20 odd, I'd have been like, yeah, baby. Now I'm a bit more kind of, I don't know reserved and shy with my clothing and colors and stuff but it's quite a bold print do you know what I mean but um it's from it's from autonomy and um I don't know if they're a shop or if they're part of another shop anyway size 18 dress there all right next up is this beautiful beautiful skirt black and gold that brings me into a song black and gold black and gold do, 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 do. anyway does anyone remember that song I used to really like that one I uh, can't remember who sung it but it was really good. Anyway, so yeah, this is from Sainsbury's 2. And it's a size 16. And it's actually from um, Gok Wan. You know, he does all the like clothes and designing and stuff. So he actually designed this exclusively for uh, Sainsbury's. It's really pretty. Honestly, it doesn't really show in this light as well. But trust me, like the gold is like quite shiny. It's really, really nice. Next up are these uh, lovely trousers. And I say they're lovely because I wanted them. But they were just too big for me. Brand new with the tags on. Um, they're from, I don't know, it just says Made With Love. But I don't know like what company that is. Oh, hold on. Oh, it's Matalan. Okay, I didn't see that. I just kept seeing Made With Love. Anyway, so yeah, they're from Matalan. Brand new. And um, yeah, it just says Extra Large. So, I mean, I tried them on and they just look like clown trousers on me. Because uh, I wanted some like baggy, loose fitting trousers for the summer kind of thing. Because uh, they're quite cool on the legs then when it's so hot. But yeah, they were just too big. They just look so silly on me. But they are up for sale. And as I say, brand new with tags still on. Next up is this dress. And it is a size 18 from Riviera. I've not heard of those. Have you heard of those? I don't know. Uh, loving the colour of this. Like the pink and the purple. It's kind of pastel vibes as well. Which is great. Perfect for those summer days. And uh, also here I have this t-shirt. Um, it's got pink flamingos on it. I do like a pink flamingo, I have to say. Um, so this is from yours, and I think it's a size 24, if I remember rightly. And uh, yeah, as you can see, there are pink flamingos all over it. Um, this top here is from somewhere. <laughs> I don't know where. There you go. Uh, F&F, which is Tesco's clothing range, and it is uh, size 22 so um nice i love the blue this blue is just gorgeous i love that kind of electric dark blue love that uh, with a nice floral print for the summer um okay i'm gonna move this out of the way this top is uh size 20 and it's from uh, julian mcdonald's star so this used to be in debenhams like the range of uh, julian mcdonald's stuff was in debenhams and oh my days it was so expensive back in the day so yeah i don't know how much someone would have paid for this originally but obviously not as much now a lot of debenhams have closed down our, our local one has i don't know if all debenhams have closed down but um our one had and it had been there for like years now of all the dresses that i'm selling this week this one would be my favorite i absolutely love it size 16 from m and co boutique and uh, it's just so well beautiful like, i love it the shiny kind of peach coloring You've got the big two big flowers there and uh it's just lovely i love like the ruffle bits on the um the bottom half of the dress like the way that they've mixed the the peachy color with the black i just think black and peach go really well such a beautiful smart dress all right next up we have this um is this patrick i think his name's patrick um so these are uh, brand new as you can see the face there brand new and they are um airpod airpod pro case patrick star so it's from spongebob isn't it silicone funny cover case um so there we go if you want some protective cover for your um things your what are they called airpods i always call them earpods airpods god i'm getting old um but yeah if you like spongebob there you go that could be for you 
Right, I have sold some freaking random stuff on my time on eBay over the years, right? But this has to go in the top ten of, of weird, weird shit I've sold on eBay. So this is a fancy dress, and um, all I can say is donut. Uh, so this just this girl just looks so, like, happy and dressed up in it. But it's... Anyway, so this is an adult donut costume it says here perfect for a party stag or festival um yeah you know you're going to a party dressing up oh what do i go as a donut and there we go you've got that costume here one size fits most it says <laughs> i love that instead of one size fits all it's like one size fits most <laughs> at least they're being honest um yeah, I don't quite know what to say to that. I mean, look at all the little sprinkles on it. It's pretty cool. Like, part of me is like, that's really cool. Like, if I was ever going to a fancy dress party and I didn't know what to go as, I'd be like, yeah, let's, let's be a donut. Because why not? <laughs> so that's that. So I told you, I sell really weird things. Right, hold on. Okay, these did not sell, so they're still on there. The Simpsons Complete 5th Season Collector's Edition DVDs and there is another uh, Simpsons DVD set here. This is the complete third season, also the collector's edition. I'm selling these separately because I thought one person might not want that one and they might not want that one anyway. But yeah, they are on there separately. Um, but if anyone wanted to buy them as a you know duo as such, I would definitely be up for like doing that. Uh, I've got some more books here. So uh, this is a graphic novel. I read this recently and I tell you what, it was so emotional. It really got my, my tears flowing, give me all the feels. And it is, of course, a true story. This is a graphic novel of the story of Anne Frank. And um, the artwork in this was just amazing. The story was so touching. And like I kind of knew Anne's story to a degree, but like I found out more information, obviously, that I didn't know reading this story. And it was just... Yeah, I've really got back into my kind of graphic novels now, but yeah, I'm not going to read it again. So I thought, you know, someone would, you know, read it and uh, I popped it on eBay. Uh, oh, hold on. I thought, yeah, I forgot I had a third one. Also got another Simpsons DVD series here. This is a complete eighth season collector's edition. I forgot I had to. Anyway, uh, back to the books. I've got one by Sarah Crossan, which uh, also actually made me cry. That's two books in the last few weeks that I've cried over. Um, I didn't cry over this one, but this one did get me like proper excited. Such a good book. Such a great thriller. Uh, this is actually part of a series. It's by Cara Hunter and it's called The Whole Truth. So you can read them as a standalone, by the way. Uh, next one is Instructions for Dancing by Nick. Actually, no. I got that wrong. That actually sold last night. Ignore this. This is not here. Not to be seen. Yeah, someone actually purchased this last night. So I'll put that over there because I'm waiting for payment on it. And then I can post it off. Um, this is the Jacqueline Wilson Secret Diary. If any uh, Jacqueline Wilson fans are out there. Uh, this is a little quick read by Louise Candlish called The Skylight. That was good. I like a little quick read sometimes. Um, we have this one here, which is a manga. Is it called a manga? I think so, yeah. A graphic novel manga. This is um, tu Tusaba. Tusaba Reservoir Chronicle. I did sell a few of the others, so I think there's only that one uh, left and possibly another one. Uh, I've still got the Lois Lane book, Double Down, by Gwenda Bond, which is a signed copy. And have this one here, which is What We're Scared Of, by... Karen David. It was amazing, that book. Really like that. Uh, this is Sally Rooney's Conversations with Friends, which pretty much looks like new condition. I've actually got my own copy of it. That's why I didn't keep it. Um, I haven't read it yet, but I have got my own copy. And this one here is by M.W. Craven, and it's called The Curator. This is supposed to be really dark thriller, if you like your thrillers. Uh, a few more books here quickly to show you. Notting Hill Carnival. A uh, West Side Story by Candice Carty Williams is a little quick read. And also The Boy I Am by K.L. Kettle. Uh, still got these on there as well. Uh, I've got the, um, what is it? Children of Eden comes first, I think. And then Elites of Eden. It's like YA, um, like space sci-fi kind of style book. Then we've got The Witch of Willow Hall by Hester Fox couple more books here to show you and then I've got some uh, duvet covers 
uh, to show you. See, I really do sell random things. Uh, this is Othello, which is another manga by uh, Satomi Ekizawa. Ekizawa? Anyway, I hope that was said properly. Uh, and this one here, Space, 10 Things You Should Know. 14 billion years for people short on time. <laughs> I don't know why it makes me laugh, but it does. Anyway, so yeah, they are ooh, the books that I'm selling. So I was talking about duvet covers. I'm selling two, uh, no, actually three duvet covers this week. So you've got the one with the Union Jack that you saw at the beginning of the video for the single bed. And these are both double duvets I'm going to show you now. So obviously they're quite big, so I can't like, you know, get them out properly. But I can show you kind of a little sneak peek. Um, and so if you want a clearer photograph of anything, especially the clothes and stuff, look on the listings and always include nice clear photographs of things, okay? Um, but yeah, this one, uh, it's uh, pillowcases and the duvet cover itself, obviously, and it's like a nice lilac-y, pinky colour. It's got little hearts on it, butterflies, and the theme of this is Paris to London. I love this bit the most, like this kind of big chandelier type thing. Like It's this really little pretty... Um, duvet cover and the other one is uh very much butterflies so if you're into your butterflies and stuff i've got to be honest butterflies do scare me as pretty as i think they are like, i love butterflies to look at i think they're beautiful but like i'm scared of things flying at me like insects and bugs and birds and anyway it's a bit weird but i still think they're really pretty um but yes yeah, so you've got flowers butterflies etc and once again you get the two pillowcases and the double duvet cover and there's another pillowcase that's in the bag. <laughs> okay, next up is this top here. This is a size 20 from Marisota, uh, which is a catalogue. I think my mum used to get Marisota. I don't think she does anymore. Um, this top here, hold on. <laughs> Just trying to turn it around the right way. There we go. This is a t-shirt from, uh, where are you from? I don't know, the regular. That's all it says. Uh, but it says on it, Amor, Amor, Amor. I'm more, I'm more. Okay, right. I've got one more bag of items quickly to show you. This top here, size 18 from uh, Primark. I actually have this same top as well. So this is like dog tooth, black and red checked. Or, or do you call it hound tooth? I call it dog tooth, but some people call it hound tooth. This is from yours. It's a really smart shirt, like pinstripe styly. Uh, size 20. Then we've got this top here. These are stuff, um, these are stuff, things that like didn't sell, so they've been relisted in case you um, recognize them. You're not imagining things they were on the last video. So this is from um, Tesco's F&F. I can't remember what size it is. There we go, size 16. Uh, we have this top here, which is, I think, a size 20 from Moda. Got like this uh, animal print vibe going on. And more animal print here. It's like a, a, a leopardy print top here. That's on. And also this skirt. This skirt is not sold. It's been on there weeks, but I don't know why it's not sold. It's so nice. It's this lovely mint green colour, like cool joy material. And it's a size uh, 22, I think. Hold on. From Yeah, size 22 from Sainsbury's. Such a nice colour as well. Uh, maybe it's the wrong time of year because it is a bit thick. Like with a cool joy, but you know, you can always buy it, put it away in your cupboard for those, you know, colder days. Um, this is brand new with tags from Boohoo. It's a uh, little bralette crop top, ivory size 14. And in here, which is the last item that I'm selling this week, is a mug, which I've oh, I've sellotaped it down, but it's a Manchester United mug, so um, that's in there. Whew, look at all this stuff, look at all this stuff that I'm selling on eBay. Go and buy it, go and buy it. Bid, bid, bid. I don't know why I did that. Just I'm I'm in a really weird mood. I think it's the heat. Mm. I have to drink there, sorry. So listen, that is what I'm selling on eBay this week. Got more stuff coming next week, so uh, keep your eyes peeled for that. The link to my eBay, as I say, is down below in the pinned comment section, also in the um, description box. So... Yeah, just go items for sale. Hope you enjoyed watching. Please click like, comment, share, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Check out Minxlaw123 ASMR, my other YouTube channel. Uh, also come and follow me on the social media, please. At Minxlaw123 on Twitter, 
Instagram is minxlaura123 and uh, TikTok, uh, <laughs> which I used to hate and now I quite like, is at minxlaura123 ASMR. I had a little break from uh, social media, but I'm now back. Um, not as much as I used to be because I just, you know what, I just get so frustrated and stressed out of social media. But like, I do enjoy it, obviously chatting to people on there, like my viewers and stuff. And I love like, you know, being able to promote my videos on there and stuff. So it is worth being on social media. Um, just not getting so like, you know, stressed by it basically. Um, so yeah, come and follow me. All right, everyone, listen, have a great day or night, whatever time it is you're watching this video. And uh, hopefully you'll be bidding. I hope to see some of my regular viewers and, and regular buyers bidding, bidding, bidding on these items. Um, and yeah, that's the end of the video. <laughs> Thank you for watching. And to my trolls that watch me, all the time because I can't get enough. Um, I normally get comments on my videos, especially the eBay ones, be like, oh, you sell a load of rubbish, blah, blah, blah. Okay, thanks for that, trolls. Thanks for that. Um, and as I always say to the trolls, if you don't like me, don't watch me. It's as simple as that, okay? Um, and that's it. All right, everyone, take care of yourself. Bye.